So we've talked a lot about the area under the curve, but how does an indefinite integral work? Indefinite integrals are integrals with no lower nor upper limit. So we think of these not so much as the area underneath the curve of a graph, but rather as the inverse operation, the opposite of finding a derivative. This integral symbol tells the reader to find the general form antiderivative of the function next to it. This idea all comes back to the second fundamental theorem of calculus. So let's practice. The indefinite integral 3x squared dx is equal to x to the power of 3 plus c, because the derivative of x to the power of 3 is 3x squared, and we throw in the plus c to account for any possible constants whose derivative is just 0. Let's calculate the next antiderivative in pieces, whose derivative is e to the x, e to the x, minus, whose derivative is cosine x, sine x, and always remember plus c. Let's do one more. Whose derivative is x squared, 1 third x to the power of 3, plus, whose derivative is 6x, 3x squared, plus, whose derivative is 1, x, and plus c.